highly, highly, uh, uh, what's it called? I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not gonna get it perfect. And even rocket scientists makes mistakes, RIP. So let's go with Sokatoa. Okay, a lot of you go, what does that mean? So so ka and toa. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna break it down if you don't know what it means. So S is the sin, and then the O and the H is what we learned today. Opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? That's what so, so stands for. Cos ka. So cos is equals adjacent over hypotenuse and then we've got tan equals opposite over adjacent now let's get the triangle back up that's a much better triangle isn't it um, so we've got this here all right and we've got angle one and angle two all right now there's an activity I do with my kids I don't have my little whiteboards here but um, I get them to label this. So this is hypotenuse instantly. This is either O or A. And this is either A or O. Okay? I'm going to go with X instead of theta. So it makes more, it's easier. And then I'm going to go with Y. Alright? So we're going to play a game. So I'm going to get you guys, I'm going to shout out the people that get it correct. So this may be good practice. For you guys to see which law we can get so three three possible answers sine cos or tan okay so let's have a practice round this is what I want you to tell me I have angle X and I have side I have this side here I have the adjacent side clue I want to find the hypotenuse what rule am I using go And the winner is tan. Everyone's saying tan. Okay, tan. Let's have a look. So I have this angle, right? And I've got this side, right? This side. So angle, sorry. This next to it is the adjacent. So X equals adjacent. But we're trying to find the hypotenuse. So we've got A and H. A and H. A lot of you said tan at the start. You're wrong. You're wrong. So A and H. A and H. A and H. H and A. You always go A and H because of cut. So if you had cos originally and you didn't change your answer to cos, you had it originally, give yourself a pat on the back. I'm sorry, I don't know who said it first. Um, we've about like 200 messages have just flown through the, um, <laughs> the server, so I can't check. But most of you said tan, all right? So that was a practice anyway, so no follow backs there. All right, let's do another one, okay? I'm going to give the answers a delay of 10 seconds, okay? Um, I'm also, actually, I'm going to say this. To submit your answer, you have to write this number in the circle along with sine, cos, and tan, okay? Because I'm going to ask you the question, and I'm going to write the number. If you say the number and what uh, side it is, you will get a follow back if you get it correct, okay? So that eliminates people just randomly trying to guess, okay? Right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we've got angle Y. We've got it. We know it. We've also got the opposite. And we're trying to find the adjacent. Go. The number is 8. What is it? 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 Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Follow back. Oh, we got one. We got one. Ellie Elite Shovel 04. You are the winner. I'll give you a follow back. 
Now, I will unfollow you at the end of this um, live, and I'll follow you back on my Sev Specs. Good job, fam. Okay, so everyone that said um, tan, you are correct. Okay, so from the Y, that's the opposite. From the Y here, that's the adjacent. So we've got O and A. Yeah, O and A. Which one says O and A next to each other? Nope, nope, yes, tan. All right, cool, that was a fun one. Um, what do you reckon of this specific game? Is this, is this a good way to learn it, interactive-wise? Are you starting to get it a little bit? Give me some feedback below. Let me know, what do you reckon? Good game, good game, excellent, cool, cool, excellent. This is one that I invented myself. I was like, cool. What I do is I get some um, some of my students to hold up a triangle, and and they have to hold like hypotenuse or the opposite or the adjacent, whatever. And I say to them that, and the first person to grab it correctly and put it above their head is the winner. And we have races. It didn't really work with my year tens because they don't really care, but they still did it. Um, you guys are more. Um, I mean, I've got like 200 people. Of course, there's going to be at least like 10 people that are into it. Anyway, let's do another one, right? Follow back. I will follow you back. Here we go. Remember, you've got to put the number in your answer as well. Okay. I've got the hypotenuse. And I've got the Y angle. And I'm trying to find this side. The number is 10. What is it? What is it? What is it? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? And the winner is sign. Sign. Okay. Uh, what username isn't taken was first. Followed back. Well done. What username isn't taken? You were the first one. So angle. This side here is the opposite, not adjacent. You have to pick one, but because it's opposite, yeah, that would be the adjacent side, but we're not using that, and that's the hypotenuse. So O and H, 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 sign, sign, sin, 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 yes, queen. Cool. All right, do you want to do one more? Let's do one more. Let's do one more follow back. This is fun. This is good. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey. Right, right, right. All right. You have this angle here. And you also have this side here. You're trying to find the hypotenuse. Go. That's your number. All right, here we go, we've got a winner. Let's have a look. Okay, so firstly, this angle, this is the adjacent, so we've got an A. And then we've got hypotenuse. So A and H, 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 A and H. cos, 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 cos. The first person that said cos and the number seven is Tasty Delicious Foods. Well done, Tasty Delicious Foods. You are followed back, congratulations. When I look at your um, when I look at your TikToks, you best have tasty foods, or I will be disappointed. Anyway, so that's the game. Thank you for playing. So that's how you identify different rules. Okay, that's how you identify different rules. That's the easy part, in my opinion. The hard part's obviously putting the calculations in. So if you trust the process, okay. So let's say, let's say. I'm gonna take these away now. And by popular demand, I'm gonna do one more. There's no sides. You're gonna to have to try and figure it out now. Here we go, all right? The number. We have this side here. This side here. And we also have this side here. We know it. We know these both sides. You still don't know which rule because it eliminates one of them. But what angle is it? Let's go with this one. Go. Excellent. This one. 
What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Ten sixteen. All right. The winner is. Um, the winner is. The winner is. Alice O'Neill, you are the winner. Yas Queen. Alice O'Neill was the first one to say tan. So let's look at this angle here, right? We wanted this. What is that known as? From this angle to over here, it's the opposite. So O, remember the letter O. So O, that eliminates cos. So we're either saying co uh, sine or toa. We need this one here. That's the adjacent. O, A, O, A, O, A. O A O A Tan. Okay, well done. Yas Queen. Okay, so now we know how to do that. Well done, Alice, for getting that final follow back. Bad luck to all the losers. Um, let's go with a. <coughs> let's go with a problem. All right. Now I don't want you to calculate the problem. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can if you want to, but um, I'm not there to show you exactly how to use your calculator. Pro tip, if your calculator's gone wacky, reset it at the back. Just poke it with your pencil. What does your calculator settings need to be at before you start trig? What does it mean? What does the settings need to be? What settings? What settings? What settings? What settings? What settings? What settings? Here we go. Degrees, good. By the way, if you think you said the answer first, it comes up differently on my phone. When you send your message, it appears quicker on your phone than to everybody else's because it's still sending it to the servers. Make sense? So if you feel like you were first, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, so let's have a look. We've got eight and five. No, we can't have five. Why can't we have five here? Because this is the longest side. Five is not bigger than eight. Let's make it 15. Yes. Let's make it centimeters. Now, we can figure out this entire triangle just with these two sides, okay? And we're gonna do that, and that's gonna, sum, that's gonna complete my um, stream today, and then I'm done, I'm going home, see you later. So, let's go with this angle here. This angle here. So what you do is you start with and go right. That's the hypotenuse, cool. What is that according to this angle? Adjacent, right. So you've got adjacent hypotenuse, adjacent hypotenuse, adjacent hypotenuse, cosine, right? So this is where you write, okay, so we've got cos, cos, because we're adjacent hypotenuse, and then the angle, which is x, we don't know the angle, that's what we're trying to figure out, equals adjacent, adjacent, so eight goes on the top because A is mentioned first, over 15, bang. There's your formula, okay? To rearrange it, okay, I'm gonna skip the, the formalities and go X equals cos negative one uh, in brackets eight over 15. You're done now, all right? That's how you figure that angle there, cool? Yes, excellent. Now, what about this angle here? What about y? What is this according to the y? Opposite, right? So we've either got sop or toa, yeah? This one's hypotenuse. So opposite hypotenuse, opposite hypotenuse, opposite hypotenuse, sin, right? So then we can go sin, y, because we don't know the angle, we're trying to figure it out, equals opposite, which is eight again, over 15. Okay, see how I did that? Right? So you're putting the values into the formula the way it's written in here. That's it. That is it. Okay? Then, again, skip the formalities. It's going to read y equals sin, negative 1, brackets 8 over 15. Bang! You've just done two different um, sine and cos. Now, hypothetically, if it was this one, you'd do the same with tan, okay? Remember, negative one, cool? Anyway, anyway, <coughs> anyway, let's do, um, let's figure out this one here. Let's figure out this side, okay? This side. Now, let's pretend we find this angle here, 
let's pretend we find this angle here, okay? So we know this angle. Let's pretend this angle is 45 degrees, okay? 45 degrees. We need to find this angle, uh, the side, okay? So according to this angle, where is this side located? The opposite, that's right. So we've got an opposite, so we're either top O, so or toa, okay? Now we're, we're, we've got uh, a luxury here. We can choose either one. We haven't done one of these. We've done so and ka. Let's do toa. Which one of these would we use to require to use to use the tan law? Would it be 15 or eight? It would be eight, that's right. Because that would make it, that would make it, um, opposite over adjacent, which is eight. Opposite over adjacent, which is eight. So let's put in our values into our formula. So we've got tan, because we want to use tan. We've got our angle, so we use the angle straight after, 45, equals opposite. We don't know it, so we just put x. Opposite, we put x on top because O is mentioned first in the rule, okay? Remember the rule. And then we're going to use 8 because that's the adjacent. There it is. Okay, now over here. To figure this one out, it's a little bit different. What do we have to move to calculate it? Okay? If you're very bored, um, please leave the like. Bye, Felicia. Okay? So you have to move the 8 over. Okay, so tan 45 stays where it is. And now notice how x is dividing by 8. What is the inverse operation of divide? It's times. So to get rid of the 8, you multiply it. So that goes away. So you're left with x like this. So we're equal with x. Sorry, no, not 8, x. And then here, you have to just times by Eight. In the calculator, please enter tan 45 first, solve it, then get the answer and times it by 8. To put it on in the calculator, just bracket the tan 45 and then times by 8 and you'll get the same answer. Done. Right. There's your screenshot if you want it. Oop, I'm going to go on this side. Hello. Okay. That's it. Done. Oh. Oh, here we go. That's it. Done. All right. I don't have a clue what I'm doing, man. Cool. Okay. So, um, all the um, young'uns here. Cool. Thank you. Um, if you, like, learnt trigonometry just off of that lesson. Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs>